Welcome guys, I'm Al. I'm Daniel. And this is the Call to Whiskey. All, All hail Cal. Cal. Today we're talking about the new Waterford Organic. Which is Irish. <laughs> Very Irish. All right. Let's take a look. Welcome back. So today's whiskey is an Irish single malt. It's from Waterford and Waterford takes their local terroir very seriously, okay? Uh, their element series is from farm to distilling to bottling, each separately by the farm, okay? Uh, this is their Organic Gaia 1.1 and it's done by multiple farms, but as far as full transparency goes, I've never seen such transparency from a distillery ever. Uh, it's absolutely amazing. Each bottle has a code on the back of it, and when you put that code into the website, it will tell you everything about that whiskey. And I mean everything. They go over the farms that it comes from, when it was matured, and you know what barley they use, what yeast, what day it was distilled, the amount of hours it took for the process. It has even the cooper that made the cast. It's absolutely amazing. I've never seen so much data and analytics on a single bottle of whiskey. They even have a sound bite of what the farm sounds like when they were farming. That's amazing. That's completely excessive. Yeah. Wonderful. So as far as the basic information goes, it's 50% ABV. It's non-chill filtered. There's no E150 attitude because why uh, would you? Yeah, obviously if you're gonna go through this much transparency, there's no way they're no. adding caramel color, right? Um, it's a non-age statement whiskey, but we know that it's three years, nine months, and 20 days old. Exactly. Uh, it's 42% first fill American oak, 17% of virgin oak, 18% Vindu natural. 23% French oak, and there's 24,000 bottles of this made. And if you guys wanna know any more about this whiskey, the, the, the code will be in the description. You guys can nerd out as much information as you want. All right. Cue the slow pour. History time. Waterford Distillery was established in 2016. They may be a young distillery, but what they lack in age, they make up for with their obsessive attention to quality. Since their debut, they preach barley forward, terroir driven and natural into every process of making whiskey. This organic whiskey is part of their Arcadian series and harkens back to a time when all produce was organic. Named after the pagan goddess Gaia, mother of earth, Waterford proudly presents the first certified organic Irish whiskey. All right, let's take a look at notes. All right. Let's take a look. Wow. Mm, nice honey. Mm -hmm. It's very complex. You get those, like a hint of mint. Yeah. And like fruit. It doesn't have a lot of the same nose notes that I'm used to smelling from this it, type. It, of... Yeah, it's not, it's not so much biscuit. Yeah. Uh, it's more like fresh baked bread. Yeah, it's less, it smells less sweet. Yeah. But there's still a little bit of that honey note. Yeah, it's it's there. the The biscuit note is there. It's just very slight. It's not overbearing like a like a Jameson or a, you know even Teeling. Um, but it's more. You know what it reminds? It's like fresh banana bread. Mm, it does have that kind of smell to it. You get like honey, orange peel. I definitely smell the orange peel. Yeah, frosting. Yeah, but again, not quite as sweet. Plum and figs and a hint mm. of salt. Anything else? No, I I think that pretty much covers it. Let's take a look at the palate. All right. Oh wow. Oh wow. That's leather, grass, hay. Very complex, not sweet. I mean, there's, there's, there is the sweetness to it, yeah. but you are getting a lot more earthy notes. You're getting a lot more complexity than normally we'd be getting in something like this. Yeah, it's, it's less like candy and more like a, like a velvety like creme brulee. Yeah. A creme brulee is sweet, but kind yeah. of custardy yeah, and like smooth. Yeah, like custard. Like... Yeah. This is incredibly well balanced. Mm. The oil on there, yeah, mm. like honey nuts, cloves, oh, figs. That's really good. This is absolutely amazing, and the finish is long. There's no, there, you're not, you're not wanting at all. No, it's, um, it's still warm. Mm -hmm. It's still lingering. Mm -hmm. It's still coating my throat. It's got a super long finish. Yeah, and the mint is there. The, Just a little bit. Yeah, the, the mint from that's the nose. Nice. That salt is there. The, that lemon peel, cedar. Mm -hmm. We tried just a little water or yeah, let's go for it. Yeah. It mellowed it out, got softer, but, but a little, it, it actually it warmed it up a little. It, it did warm it up. I actually feel it more warm in my mouth, mm -hmm. and it actually hit faster, mm -hmm. and it seems to be lingering even more. Because mm. it cut the alcohol a little bit, and the alcohol kind of works as a cleanser. So it just hangs around. Mm. That grass note came out. Came out a lot. Yeah, that grass yeah. note came out a lot. More of that leather. I actually really like it with the water. Mm. Way more than I expected to. Yeah, I was I was worried about adding water to it because it's just it's so good. But it, it is, is so good. But uh, it is so good. Yeah. 
It can handle the water. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I mean, we keep interrupting ourselves to mm. taste it, so that tells you something. It's so good. This is, <laughs> this is great. I've never had an Irish whiskey this good. Um, let's take a look at some ice. That biscuit note finally came to the top yep. with some ice. Um, it was it was hidden there for a while, but that biscuit note came out. And I still taste the grass. Mm -hmm. It's still got that kind of grassy taste yeah, that, to it. That grass and that leather is it did, not... It did not lose that. No, from, from the start to finish, it's been there that entire time. And it actually just, the ice just really cut the alcohol just mm. perfectly mm. that you don't even really notice. Those would be easy to mm. drink on ice. A little bit, like a hint more lemon with the yeah. ice as well. Yeah, which is very refreshing. Yeah, yeah, yeah. The yeah. mint and the lemon and the grass and the balance of it all. Yeah. This, is, this would be easy to just enjoy. So, What's the price point on this? The MSRP on this is $110. I picked it up for about $100, and it was a recommendation by one of our viewers in the comments. Uh, it was uh, by Ricardo De Lorenzo. He was recommending it for a top shelf Irish whiskey, and I'll be damned if this is not a top this shelf. This is a top shelf yeah. Irish whiskey I mean, for sure. Make way bottles. I yeah, mean, this we, is, we this, need to this, scoot this, something. Yeah, this, I'm uh, not sure what, but something needs some, to move. I mean, the bottle on this is gorgeous. There's no way I'm not proudly displaying this bottle. It's absolutely gorgeous with the glass topper and everything. The bottle alone to me is worth $100, let alone the whiskey inside of it. <laughs> that seems reasonable to me. <laughs> right? It's just really good. I mean, it's just so good. It's really good. You yeah. loved Irish whiskey already. Have you ever had an Irish whiskey that was better than this? No, never. I mean, not ever. <laughs> no, I just haven't. I've had all kinds of Irish whiskeys. They're all good. I like a lot of them. Uh -huh. This is the best I've had. I mean, it's absolutely amazing. I go out, buy it if you can get your hands on. The only problem um, that we have here is that it's super hard to get your hands on. Uh, they're they're just rare. I mean, there's twenty four thousand bottles made. So of, get them while you can. Yeah. If you see it, buy it. I can't say anything bad about this whiskey. It's absolutely amazing. So one question for everyone out there is, if you have a bottle that you'd like us to review, please go ahead and put it in the comments section and we'll take a look at it. Hmm? Sounds good. Yeah. Well, on that note, our toast day has to be Irish. May the enemies of Ireland never eat bread or drink whiskey. But be afflicted with itching without the benefit of scratching. All, All hail, hail cow. cow.